Hello everyone. I'm getting lots of lots of emails about how to uh, combine existing sky systems such as ultra dynamic sky and Unreal Zone sky atmosphere system with my own skybox packs. So I'm going to show you how. It's very very easy. You just have to change our main material to additive and that's it. Um, I just opened um, a very basic scene from Unreal uh, Engine 5 and uh, I have put a skybox mesh uh, in in any of my packs you can uh, have it under meshes section or you can just copy and paste from an already set up map and uh, you can put any sky instance any sky material instance to this uh, skybox mesh uh, according to your uh, landscape or according to your level your map you, um, you must adjust your skybox mesh size I just put 20 all right uh, when you open the material instance which you can either from under content browser or under details menu it doesn't matter when you open the material instance you'll see the parents this is the main material in most of my packs it's M flow map main or M skybox main and under blend mode it must be additive and now we should see the background clouds and directional lights additive changes the material um, into a different blend mode such as the screen overlay effect in Photoshop so you can see the background directional light and volumetric clouds and this will also work with ultra dynamic sky or any other sky systems uh, the same because Unreal Engine renders them always uh, at the front but the skybox too so in order to see one of them or both of them you must blend them and this way as you can see we still have volumetric clouds we still have sky atmosphere and we also have at the same time our flow mapped skybox but as you can see it looks very bad so that's up to you to uh, manually adjust it you see in every uh, in every skybox pack of mine you can see the tint contrast and brightness if you have a, um, a 724 uh, sky atmosphere system and it always changes uh, you may adjust this with sequencer you may create a very basic blueprint that will set the skybox parameters at sunset, at noon, at morning, at cloudy skies, at clear skies. You may have different presets. For example, this is some kind of noon, and I adjust its colors mostly to bluish. I adjust its brightness and contrast. So in every um, part, uh, of any time of day you may manually set your colors and tones uh, under material instance it's just it's up to you to how you set this I mean you may set this via sequencer you may set this via blueprints it's totally up to you but the basic idea is to change the main material to additive then adjust material instances that's it